Did you know 88% of people would delete an app due to bugs and glitches? Helping developers build quality user experiences is close to my heart, and I wanted to learn more about how developers have managed crashes over the years. So I spoke with Anise Davis. You've been in the mobile development space for a long time. Can you tell us how developers used to think about crashes? In the early days, developers cared deeply about user crashes, but they didn't have the tools to replicate or debug the issue, or to even understand which users were being impacted. I remember spending lots of time trying to reproduce issues based on minimal information from bug reports. Once, I was attempting to debug an experience that was only happening in a specific country, and no matter how many times I tried to, I was unable to reproduce it. It wasn't until I traveled there that I realized people were often using 2G. It never dawned on me to check the connection type. It sounded like that was tricky for devs and users. It was definitely challenging, but over time, more tools became available. I remember using open source community solutions that would send the crashes to a backend server. And then several big tech companies actually created their own remote crash solutions. And then, entered Crashlytics, which changed the game. We could now know which devices were experiencing issues, could be notified of trending issues, and finally, we were able to show non-technical stakeholders the crashes visually. One time, my team received crash reports for a particular screen of the Meetup app, but we could never reproduce the issue given how inconsistent it was. Crashlytics helped us to narrow down which features to examine. We found a crash that was due to a null pointer exception. It was on some data that we never expected to be null, so it didn't even seem like that crash should be possible. An engineer on my team was able to use the data from Crashlytics to uncover that the source was a race condition. That was leading to the null, and then he was able to fix it. In 2022, we announced the App Quality Insights window in Android Studio which helps you discover, investigate, and reproduce issues reported by Crashalytics within the context of your local project. I wanted to take a behind-the-scenes peek at where this idea came from. So I spoke with David, a software engineer on the Firebase team, who worked on the initial prototype. The idea for the integration came from a quarterly hack week where we're able to experiment on our own projects. We know that Android developers use both the Firebase console and Android Studio, so I had an idea to integrate Firebase into Android Studio to reduce their need to switch between the two. The first prototype for this project was actually an integration with performance monitoring, but we realized that Crashlytics, which helps developers track, prioritize, and fix crashes faster, would have a much bigger impact on developer workflow as the integration into Android Studio. So we pivoted in that direction instead, and the rest is history. And how did you iterate on the original idea? Oh, well, once we launched the early developer preview, we tested it with a few internal Google teams, and they loved it. We also started testing this with Android developers as part of an early access program. They had some really valuable feedback that helped us decide what to build. An example of this is the Notes feature in Crashlytics. Several teams gave us feedback that it was a very important part of their flow. So of course we added it to AQI. Actually, Anise was one of the developers who tested AQI. I was truly happy to be able to go directly from a link in the stack trace to the code. It was that feature in Android Studio that you never knew you needed. I especially like that you can filter issues based on the different variants in your app. How has AQI helped you at Meetup? We make heavy use of the internal testing track of Google Play. Being able to find and fix crashes that are limited to our internal company means fewer crashes for end users. Every engineer that I know and work with is passionate about delivering performant quality code. App Quality Insights is the next step in the evolution of crash management. It can help engineers have more agency over addressing crashes while they also work on exciting new features. So there you have it. We're continuing to build features and improvements for AQI. Check it out in the latest version of Android Studio.